shrouded in mystery for thousands of years, these structures continue to raise questions and spark debates in the scientific community. Here are eight ancient constructions that still baffle us. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 8. Goliath Gates In 2015, a large monumental gate was discovered in Israel that may have once marked the entrance to the biblical city of Gath. In the Old Testament, Gath was occupied by the Philistines, mortal enemies of the Israelites. Gath was one of the largest and most powerful cities in the region and home to Goliath, the legendary giant warrior David killed with his slingshot. Also found were fortifications nearby, which will take some time to fully excavate, and the remains of a temple with ironworks and pottery associated with Philistine culture. The find raises questions regarding other potential discoveries with origins rooted in biblical tradition. Number 7. Hippogeum of Hal Saflini Dating from around 4000 BC, the Hippogeum of Hal Saflini is the world's only known prehistoric underground temple. Built on three superimposed layers, the lower of which rests 35 feet below ground level. Rudimentary equipment like flint, antlers, and obsidian tools were used to dig the hippogeum chambers. Many objects were found during the excavation of the site, including decorated pot vessels, clay and stone beads, and figures depicting animals and human figures. The most notable of them is the Sleeping Lady, a clay figure probably depicting a mother goddess. Initially purposed as an underground sanctuary, the Hippogeum also became a necropolis as the remains of around 7,000 individuals were discovered at the site. Perhaps the most incredible aspect about Malta's underground wonder is its acoustic properties. Voices with a range of 95 to 120 hertz can reverberate throughout the entire complex. If the frequency is maintained, it's said that it produces an almost trance-like state that can stimulate the creative side of the brain. Number 6. Great Pyramid of Giza The Great Pyramid of Giza held the title of the world's tallest building for roughly 3,800 years from its completion around 2560. BC, one of the original seven wonders of the world. The gigantic structure was built using over 2 million stone blocks, weighing from 2 to 30 tons. Some of the massive blocks had to be transported from 500 miles away. Perhaps the most baffling aspect about the pyramid are its accurate measurements and geometry. The plane on which it rests was artificially flattened and is only 0.8 inches away from being perfectly horizontal. The alignment of stones is incredibly precise and all four sides of the pyramid are oriented almost perfectly to the four cardinal directions. Large blocks of casing stones were also used and placed atop the pyramid. These were polished to the point that they reflected sunlight, turning the pyramid into a visual spectacle. The precision, complexity, and sheer mass of the pyramids has led to theories that the Egyptians may have received otherworldly help. Number 5. Newgrange Newgrange, located in the Boyne Valley, County Meath, Ireland, isn't as famous as Stonehenge, its younger Neolithic relative, but it's just as, if not more mysterious. It's a megalithic mound grave featuring a 55-foot-long inner passage connecting to a central room that further extends in three arms. A cairn containing a staggering 220,705 tons of loose stones covers the space. The structure is ringed on the outside by an array of standing stones. This man-made construction has many theories as to how the standing stones arrived on site and why the grave only contained the remains 
of five people. Some of the stones display geometric patterns that were hidden from view for reasons unknown. Inside the main chamber has remained dry for thousands of years. This was an inbuilt feature, constructed around 3200 BC, considering the low population of the area at the time and the massive scope of the project. Its very existence is puzzling. An amazing event happens at Newgrange during the winter solstice, when sunlight illuminates the path on the inner passageway before reaching the main chamber for roughly 17 minutes. This suggests the entire structure was purposefully oriented with advanced astronomical knowledge. Number 4. Neanderthal Cave Circles Brunichel Cave in southern France seems to tell a different story about humanity's evolution. Massive circles carved out of stalagmites were found inside the cave and these appear to be man-made. Located in a place that doesn't have natural light, traces of fire have been found in and around the structures. Explanations vary on whether the circles were part of shelters or used in some type of ritual. What's staggering is that carbon dating indicates the circles are roughly 175,000 years old. The only hominins around the region at the time were the so-called brutish and unintelligent Neanderthals. This discovery seems to reinforce the growing theory that Neanderthals weren't as primitive as first thought. If the circles were built for rituals, it means Neanderthals may have had the capacity for symbolic thought. Number 3. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe, also known as Potbelly Hill, is an archaeological site located on an artificial mound in Turkey's southern Anatolia region. Among the ruins found are massive limestone slabs and T-shaped pillars that once stood over 20 feet and weigh between 10 and 20 tons. Geophysical surveys concluded that hundreds of pillars were once arranged in circles and fitted into sockets carved from the bedrock. This wouldn't be very impressive by today's standard, but radiocarbon dating indicates these gigantic structures are at least 11,000 years old predating the Neolithic revolution that marked the transition to agriculture and settlements for human cultures. This evidence suggests these structures were built by hunter-gatherers that we assumed didn't have the tools for such elaborate work. Many animal remains were found in the area, indicating a lifestyle where hunting was the main source of food. The pillars feature carvings depicting animals such as foxes, spiders, scorpions, lions, and others. These are not, however, game animals and mainly represent predators. Nobody knows why the complex at Gobekli Tepe was built or the significance of the carvings. Some conclude that it was used for large religious gatherings, which would make it by far the world's oldest temple if such complex monuments were indeed Within the capabilities of hunter-gatherers, it would fundamentally change our understanding of a crucial point in the development of human society. Number 2. Longyu Caves The man-made Longyu Caves definitely raise more questions than they answer. Found in the village of Xi'an Bikun, deep in China's Zhejiang province, these caves were an underwater secret for millennia. Discovered in 1992, after a local man decided to test the legend that the local ponds were bottomless, he rallied the community who bought a large hydraulic pump and drained the pond. That's how roughly 320,000 square feet of hand-dug caverns were found, containing separate rooms, pools, bridges and pillars meant to sustain the ceiling. There are intricate carvings on the walls, but so far nobody knows what civilization is responsible for these caves. Almost one million cubic meters of rock had to be removed whilst building, but despite the precise engineering and artistry, no tools were ever found on site. The only evidence is the uniform parallel chisel marks covering each wall. 
This also begs the question of how such rudimentary tools were used so precisely. Number 1. Moai Statues The monolithic human figures from Easter Island are among the world's most mysterious constructions. Known as the Moai, these massive statues were created by the Rapa Nui people, the island's original inhabitants. It's believed that these Moai were created in honor of their ancestors, as symbols of religious and political power and leadership. Sculpted between 1250 and 1500, most of the Moai faced inland towards the community, suggesting they were seen as watchful protectors. The Moai heads are significantly larger than their bodies and feature strong chins, broad noses, and carved eye sockets built to hold black obsidian and coral. What's most impressive is their sheer size. Paro, the tallest Moai built, stood around 33 feet, weighing roughly 90 tons. There's also an unfinished sculpture that if completed would have weighed a staggering 270 tons. On a 69-foot frame, the main quarry was at Rano Raraku, and nearly half the statues are still there. Here's where it gets interesting. Hundreds were moved all over the island and placed on stone platforms, but nobody knows how this was accomplished. Theories range from the extensive use of logs and manual labor to village elders commanding the statues to move. By the end of the 19th century, all the Moai had reportedly toppled over. Nobody knows why this happened either. Seismic activity, tribal warfare, and even shamanic magic have all been cited as possible causes. The most famous of these was the story about a giant human skeleton uncovered in the desert during gas exploration in Saudi Arabia. Pictures were included, linked with the Islamic story of the Prophet Hud and the powerful giant tribe of Ad. 